Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S23 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device uh, through recovery mode which will also allow you to get rid of uh, your screen lock if you have one that you just don't know. Now before I actually get started with the process I'm gonna quickly mention a couple of important things or at least ones that I consider very important. So number one if your device is signed into a Google account or Samsung account so under under accounts and backup if you go to manage accounts you see some kind of account right here um, so if you perform this reset and you have an account signed in here along with a screen lock which I do uh, have a screen lock I don't have an account uh, that will lock the device and what that means uh, by lock the device is once the reset is finished and you're going through this setup, you will need to verify one of the methods, either the pin pattern password that was previously used on this device or the account, uh, Samsung or Google, whichever one uh, it will be asking you for. Uh, so you can use either one of those methods to unlock the device. Now, if you don't know either of those, uh, usually I would have a guide on how you can just kind of bypass this and get rid of it fully without needing to verify anything. But unfortunately, uh, at the time of recording this video, there is no such a way just yet. Uh, chances are there will be one later on, maybe a week or month later on, uh, after the phone has been released because it's literally just been released. But right now uh, there is uh, nothing uh, to bypass this. Uh, if there will be, I'll obviously make a video on how to bypass this. But like I said, if, you, if you're wondering about this right now, uh, there is none. So anyway, um, Obviously, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, this will allow you to get rid of your screen lock. Uh, kind of the purpose of this. And uh, for this, we will need a cable. So I have one right over here. And the cable needs to be plugged into your computer. So mine already is. And let's just connect it. Have a little sound from the PC. Uh, now, normally you would get some pop-up on the screen to allow access, uh, to allow the computer to access the data that is stored on the phone. Truly, it doesn't really matter if this pop-up shows up or not. We just need the phone to be connected to the PC and that's it. So from here, uh, we don't know the pattern or password or pin, whatever it is. So we will need to forcibly turn off the device because if you try to turn it off normally like this, you'll have uh, this stupidity right here. So uh, put in the pattern, at least in my case, to turn it off. Now, why this is showing up is beyond me. No other device basically does this and it doesn't really protect anything because we can just do power key and volume down. And you wanna hold those till the phone turns off. Once it turns off, you want to then switch to volume up instead. Just give it a second and it should start booting up. There we go. So you will see uh, after a moment a Samsung with a Galaxy Edition. Once you see the Galaxy, I can let go of those two keys and this will then take you to recovery mode. Uh, completely ignoring the pattern that we needed to put in uh, to turn off the device because go figure, Samsung secure, right? Anyway, we can also unplug the cable and that is the only thing that we needed the cable for to boot us into here. Once we're in here, uh, we will then need to navigate using volume keys and you wanna do so in order to select wipe data factory reset. Now, obviously, as the name would suggest, this wipes data, all of it. So if you have something that you like to keep, you would typically want to probably create a backup of it. But if you don't have access to the device uh, because you don't know your pattern, pin, password, that would make it well, basically impossible. So I guess you will have to lose your data. Anyway, uh, once it's selected like this, press power key, confirm it. And again, let's select factory data reset, confirm it. And there we go. As you can see at the bottom, we have a data wipe complete. Reboot system now will be selected by default. So press power key once more. And this will now continue resetting our device in the background. This process only takes a couple, well, I think below like a minute. So it should be done very shortly. So I'll be back once it is finished. And as you can see, it's now finished. So from here, we can set up your device. Um, if you know your a Google account or a Samsung account, obviously you can just finish it up, but if you don't, you might be a little bit bummed out. Anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.